Let's get ready to rumble! Hey friends, welcome to Dandelion Stitches. Welcome if you're new, welcome if you're not. Just super happy to have everybody. So uh, today we've got um, the Liberty Fabric League box. And uh, I'm going to do a timestamp down below where you will find this box in the video because for just a, a couple of minutes, I'm going to do a little wedding, a little wedding talk. We are now officially, my nose again, what is with that? Um, we're officially past wedding. It was, it was so good. It was, she was just um, an exquisite bride and uh, even the sun shone, it was, it felt like it was about 180 degrees, but it wasn't, I mean, but I, I was warm, um, but it went fine. Um, saw a lot of people that I hadn't seen in a while, which was awesome. Saw a few people that I, um, hadn't seen for a while and it wasn't so awesome. That's <laughs> what happens when there's, you know, divorce. It's, but anyway, um, I do have a couple of pictures that I'm going to throw in here. I did not take very many pictures because I just really wanted to be there. Plus, um, I spent so much time running around with Kaisa, my daughter, um, and putting out fires. And, you know, I just, I didn't have, I didn't think to pick up my camera and take pictures. But the photographer had his camera in my face. Like, at one point, at one point I asked him, why, why is it every time I look up? the camera's pointing at me and said, because you are the mother of the bride and that's how it goes. So this is right before the ceremony that's Kaisa and Cambria and I on the way to the ceremony space. It was in a garden at a museum. This is the new family that's Emerson in the bow tie and my daughter Kaisa and Jacob and Cambria. That's Cambria, and that's why I wanted to share this picture, not this giant head that's coming up. I hate the way iMovie does this. I gotta figure out a better way. But anyway, Cambria, gonna be 13 in October. This is my son, Carl, the older brother of the bride. And this, this is all the grandchildren, except for the new twins. That's Callum, Emerson, Cambria, who is cracking up at Judah, little Judah down there. I uh, did something funny because that's just Judah. So, um, so um, I, I wanted to just take a second, just in case there's anybody else out there that might be feeling the same way as I have felt. Um, I am not a small woman. Um, I am short and round. Uh, kind of like a weeble. Remember weebles? They wobble, but they don't fall down. Although I could definitely fall down. But, um, and, and I have my mother's thing. It's a genetic. My sister and I both have it. My mother had it. My grandmother had it. Um, I really have, have had a hard time taking my picture, having my picture taken. Um, doing these videos has helped me immensely because, excuse me, <clears throat> I've become accustomed to looking at myself, which I think has been a really good thing. But um, just there's something about having your picture taken when you're not, not the way society feels. Uh, uh, when you don't feel like you're enough, I think that's the maybe the best way for me to term it. But I felt pretty yesterday. Um, I was still my, myself, but um, every time the camera got aimed at me, I just kept saying to myself, I feel pretty today. I, I feel, I feel good. And I feel like um, having those pictures when my, when I'm gone um, and for my grandchildren and, you know, take the pictures. As I guess is what I'm trying to work my way all the way around to. Who you are right now is exactly who you should be. Whatever it is, whether it's the neck or your belly or your or whatever, who you are right now is perfect. It's just it's perfect. And and everybody's got something. I mean, my daughter is like a size zero. She's almost 40 years old. 
she got her dad's jeans. Huh, lucky her. But um, she was just, you know, what up to my hips and my, just, I'm like, oh my gosh. But we all, everybody's got something that they feel insecure about. So I just want to challenge you <laughs> and assure you that um, we are all beautifully, beautifully made. And whoever you are and however you look, however, whatever you think, you're enough and you're beautiful. And take the pictures. <laughs> so enough of that. Let's get into this box. Alrighty. This is the Liberty Fabric League box. And it is $68. This is the most expensive box that I get. Um, I... I'm gonna try to just not, to be honest, that's what I've always tried to do. Um, I I would say this is my favorite box that I, I get. That I, it's you almost always got amazing fabric and you know, Liberty fabric is very pricey. I think it's $38 a yard. So uh, just keep that in mind as we have a look. So, pink box. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Thank you. Dear Holly, just a quick note to let you know a couple of things. First of all, thank you so much for your continued support. You all mean the world to me. Liberty has started printing with a white selvage. They never had a selvage until now. I used to trim the little bit of selvage off for you. This means that you will be getting pieces with selvage on them from now on. I will do this so that you can get as much usable fabric as possible. I try to preserve the entire width of the fabric and ship as much as possible with each cut. In your box, there will be 12 pieces of fabric, Sue Daily Little Keeper, and a magic grip and thimble with love, Julie. Okay, and I'd like to point out that she wrote my name here. This is what Julie does. She goes through every box and writes the person's name. And and I, I don't know how many boxes they send out, but I would guess, you know, a hundred, maybe more. So it's those little touches. So, there we go. We always save the fabric for last. Oh, look at, okay. Um, Always a Biscoff biscuit. Okay, we'll, we'll start with this. A Wonder Grip and Thimble. <clears throat> Excuse me. Soft and flexible, grips needle firmly, fits right or left hand. So for hand sewing, okay, we're gonna get this out and look at it. Okay, so it's really like, you know, silicone-y and stretchy. Am I doing, maybe I'm. Nope, it has to be the other way. Okay. Oh, and it's got little grips. There's little grips here. Little, oh, sorry, little grips here. Hmm, I think I will find this very useful. Huh, I've never, I've never seen this before. This is pretty cool. So it says, easy to push the pin in, or the, ne the needle in. The dimples and ridges keep the needles from slipping. Easy to pull through. Huh. By the same people that make my favorite pins. Well, okay. Nifty. I haven't a clue. Oh. Little Keeper from Sue Daly of Patchwork with Busy Fingers is perfect for all your handiwork and English paper piecing projects. In addition to keeping your workspace tidy, the Little Keeper puts your tools right at your fingertips. A spindle to hold your thread, a spot for your glue pen, 
and needle and, and a little magnet for your needle. Huh. That's cool. I do not right now do much EPP, but this, I, okay. Now this is my idea of like really quality notions. This is, this is good stuff. Okay, and oh, okay, maybe I need to start doing some EPP. This is called JoJo's Garden. And it's got some embroidery. So the notions are like really excellent for the project. And you can make this really cute little, little bag. Linen. The sweetest hex sees amongst embroidered garden flowers adorn this very useful zipper pouch. Huh, and it's got the transfers, the iron-on transfers for the embroidery. And then you can use the fabric from the, from what we're gonna look at in a minute for the hexes. And then you can use your thing, your Sue Daly little keeper to, when you're working on it. I, okay, okay. Uh, uh, this is, this is what I expect from Liberty. This is definitely, okay, so. Let's have a look at this incredible fabric. Oh, 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 okay. The um, Tana Tana lawn is lawn fabric um it is just the hand of it is just lovely it's soft and it's just it's so pretty this is this is pretty and it those look like dandelion leaves but i don't see the dandelion is that it up there yes it is it's got dandelions on it <gasps> oh happy day all right, this is just kind of a nice blendery kind of taupey. Uh, don't I? I'm thinking that these are roses because I see thornies, so I'm gonna decide that that they're roses. Okay, that's like a eh. okay. That's pretty. Okay, come on, Ellie. I'm not really seeing a salvage yet. Oh, upside down, sorry. Birds. Bird, bird, bird is the word. It's got strawberries. They look like thrush to me. Okay. Very springy, summery. That's pretty. Are you getting all these? Yes. Okay. Upside down. There we go. I like the little pop of plum in here. <gasps> Upside down again. Okay, I love this one. This is Morning Glories, Bachelor Buttons, Blue Poppies, Pansies. An occasional, I thought I saw a butterfly or some sort of. Okay, maybe not. 
Okay. That's pretty. Peacock feathers. <laughs> what is it up? I'm, I'm always doing this upside down. That is exquisite. The color saturation in this is, I'm sure the camera is not doing it justice. And for some reason, every time I lay out fabric, the, the lighting just keeps changing. It's not the lighting, the lighting is fine, but it's like the way the camera perceives it and like the fabric keeps changing colors. This is just exquisite. Wow. Okay, last one. So there is a stag and a bun bun and another bun bun and another bun bun <laughs> and a pheasant. That's beautiful. That is really beautiful. So there they are. This month's Liberty League. Okay, well, let's let's do it. Where did I lose my pen? There it is. Okay. Quality versus price. I'm going to give it a five. Those were some hefty notions and that fabric. Yeah. So five. Five. For the... I'm going to do a four for my preference because there were a few in there that I wasn't like super loving on. So just projects there was one project will i make it oh i absolutely will usable notions there were two right there were two notions um the wonder grip and the little keeper You know what? I'm going to give it a five for creativity. I think that that they did a super good job of choosing um, notions that went really well with the pattern and the fabrics. And so I'm going to I'm going to give it that five and, and, and an A. So it's pricey, but it's it's always. And it is one of the few boxes that I can say that consistently is is always good, is super good. So I'll see you at the other camera. <laughs> you know, find your joy. <laughs> um, so that was it. That was the Liberty Fabric League. Um, yeah, it's a good one. It's... I, I did actually cancel it for like two months and I just, I wanted it back. So I did. So that's it for Liberty League. Uh, I know that there are, I'm going to, I think two more boxes coming for the month and I am going to keep all for every box for the entire month. I'm going to keep the voting open until the last day of September. And then on that day, I'll close the voting and, um, tally everything up and then on the 1st of October I will uh, let you know how our first round of the battle of the boxes went and we'll start with the second round so have a really good one you guys I I um I hope you're all awesome so be well be safe and I'll see you soon bye